So can you please share with us a little about yourself and your music background? Now, just like any kids with music background, I did my piano lesson since 5 years old. And as usual, I completed grade 8 and ATCL before I went to pursue a degree in music production and technology. And I did my master's in Kodai pedagogy. How long have you been working at Serenity and Theater? Um, this is my 10th year as a music educator. What inspired you to be a music educator? To be honest, I never thought of myself being a music educator. Uh, when I was 18, just like or about your age, uh, I have always wanted to be a music composer or a producer, which I did become for a very short time. Uh, but all along, I have been teaching uh, part time, mm. and some some years ago, I got to I got acquainted with Kodai Method uh, in about 2009. I attended the symposium in UITM. And I was uh, very amazed by the method. And then I thought, oh, OK, this is the way that I'm going to explore more in music education. Do you love your job as a music educator? Uh, of course I do. Why? Um, <laughs> well, first of all, I think teaching is a very interesting job because every day is like a new day. Even though I face with the same students every week, uh, but every week is is a total different, like a new beginning all altogether. And also teaching is a, a job that we share, and I love sharing a lot. So, in your perspective, what is the toughest aspect of teaching nowadays? In general, I think that the kids nowadays are very different from the kids like. 10 years ago. So we as teachers, because we do not grow up the way they do nowadays, when we grew up, but during my time, there wasn't smartphone. Yeah, uh, there wasn't, my time uh, as a child, we don't even have internet. Yeah, so, but nowadays, kids are so, uh, there's this word called instant gratification. So everything they want is like, you know, like eating fast food. So I think the toughest um, aspect for a teacher nowadays is to adapt to this fast pace and also to adapt to the behavior of the kids nowadays because they just behave totally differently. Not to say that they are worse, it's just different. So yeah, as a teacher, that is tough. Yeah, so now you have been teaching for 10 years, right? How do you keep your passion and enthusiasm for teaching? I do not have to purposely keep the passion because it's just it's just automatic for me. But generally, um, I tend I try to regularly attend workshops on teaching methods or just any workshop that um, I can develop myself. And also, I have a group of friends who are music educators as well from different fields. Uh, we usually. Uh, contact each other and then we share our stories in teaching or we share our problems in teaching and we help each other. So that's why I, the passion is always there for me. Yeah. Would you mind sharing with us about your teaching method? My teaching is very much inspired by Kodai method and, and recently I've been attending some Delcos workshops and I also found that it is very useful in my teaching. So basically, um, personally, I am I believe in student-centered learning, meaning uh, student is the center of the education, and uh, personally, I care about each student's progress. So I will try my best to to cater to the development of each student even though I'm teaching in a group class. Okay. So do you have any advice for the current younger music educator? As of now, what I can think of is that the younger generation of music educators should keep improving themselves as a musician and also an educator because they are uh, two very different aspects. Uh, the other thing is I think as a 
aspiring or current music teacher, we should always be empathetic in the way that we should always think what is best for the students and how to cater for the students' needs all the time. So yeah, thank you for your time for sharing us your know, experience as a music educator. Thank you very much. Thank you.